Thank you both for being here. How do you feel sitting beside each other now? To be honest, we've got on quite a bit recently. We've tried to really reconcile after doing the documentary. Yeah. Um, it still still feels awkward and strange sometimes. But How about you? Yeah, we're, we're getting there. Things are much better than what they was. Well, there's seven years between you, isn't there? Yes. yes. And uh, and what, what was the relationship like as you were growing up? We was actually really close. Yeah, yeah really, really close. close. It was really more than just a sister relationship. Look, I looked at Larissa as one of my best friends. Yeah. So, yeah. And you were 17 when you met Steve? Yes. And things progressed, you moved in together, and indeed you then moved in as well, Larissa, because you, in fact you, you talk about being a little bit of a mother figure almost as well yeah. to Larissa. And so the three of you in the house together, that was all a very normal living situation to begin yes, with. Yeah, it seemed to be because I just felt that Larissa was the only one from my family that got along with Steve. And you were grateful for it. Yes, that, yeah. yeah, of course I was very grateful for that. So I didn't think anything of it at first. It wasn't until after Larissa said she was pregnant. Mm. Well, uh, you have four children, yes. and uh, and th there's a big sort of teeming house. Did you fancy him when you saw him first of all? No, not obviously not when I first met him. No, I never looked at him like that. And so, what was it that brought the two of you together? Um, a drunken night, which was it was me. I, I was the one that was drunk and come in and yeah. And he, you, no, you weren't working, and he wasn't working, and uh, and so you were spending a lot of time together. Yeah. You were working, yes. Um, and so you were out of the house. Did you have yeah. any suspicions at all? Yes, as said, as soon as Larissa told me she was pregnant, I became suspicious. But nothing before that. No, not before that. No. And you weren't worried about leaving them in the house together. No, or? I didn't think I'd have to be family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in 2011, of course, this somewhat of a bombshell, I guess, Lewis, it's fair to say, you announced that you were pregnant. Yeah. Um, you didn't feel the need, obviously, you knew it was Steve's child. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did he know? Was he fully aware of the situation? Um, he weren't sure whether it was his or not, because I'd go out and, yeah. yeah. But he, he did ask, he would... Yeah, yeah, he did ask. But yeah. you didn't confide in anyone, but you no. did know yourself. So for, during the entire pregnancy, you kept this a huge secret yeah. to yourself. And you were a hugely supportive half-sister during this yes, period then, yeah. Leanne, yeah? Yes, yeah, because for me, obviously, where Larissa lived with us as well, it was I was there to support her, and I had supported her through many different things through life, so I was going to turn my back on her at the time she needed me most. Of course. Well, you had nothing out, you had no yeah. reason to suspect, necessarily, yeah. if there was anything untoward. Did you ask who the father was? Yes, I, I did. Um, the reply was two different people, but she wasn't sure. Um, and then further on, I did ask both Larissa and Steve to their face separately if the baby was Steve's. And obviously, they both lied to me to my face. So, mm. yeah. 